Russia's invasion of Ukraine is now into its fourth month, and the fighting in the country's eastern region has only intensified. In the latest, the Ukrainian forces have confirmed that the Russian troops have now surrounded the city of Severodonetsk, a key area in the Luhansk Oblast, in an attempt to further strengthen its grip across the region. According to reports that have come in, Moscow-backed separatists and the Russian troops have, founded, have pounded the eastern Ukrainian Donbas region. Now, the fighting is mainly focused in two key cities of Severodonetsk and also the nearby Lysychansk. These are the last areas under Ukrainian control in Luhansk and one of the two provinces that makes up the conflict ridden Donbas region. If Russia gains control of these two cities of Severodonetsk and Lysychansk, then that would effectively mean that Russia has gained complete control of the Luhansk province. The Moscow's advance into the Donbas region has raised fears amongst the Ukrainian authorities that the cities in the region would undergo the same war horror that was inflicted on the strategic port city of Mariupol before it eventually fell into the Russian hands. The governor of Luhansk has now warned that the Ukrainian soldiers might have to retreat from the cities to avoid being completely surrounded. Now, with no end to the conflict in sight, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has once again reiterated his call for negotiations to end the crisis. Now, addressing an Indonesian think tank on Friday, Volodymyr Zelensky said the talks with Russian President Vladimir Putin are an absolute must to put an end to the conflict. He, however, slammed Moscow for allegedly not being serious for peace talks with his government. Відповідь і на нашу пропозицію щодо лідера Російської Федерації щодо того, щоб сісти за стіл перемовин і закінчити цю війну. Жодного разу за три роки, за мої три роки мого президентства і жодного разу з початку повномасштабного вторгнення. Окрім загальних речей, ми за перемовини, ми підтримуємо дипломатичне рішення. Але це, розумієте, це не співпадає з реальністю, тому що не можна воювати і посилювати технічну присутність військову на чужій землі, при цьому говорити, ми за дипломатичне рішення. So as Russia steps up its onslaught in key Ukrainian cities, Biden administration is now said to be considering a shipment of advanced long-range rocket systems into Ukraine. According to reports, Washington is leaning towards sending the systems as part of a larger package of military and security assistance to Kiev, which could be announced as soon as next week. Now, the Ukrainian officials have repeatedly asked the United States and its allies to provide the multiple launch rocket systems to help Kiev gain better ground amidst the war. The key focus is, of course, the M31 GMLRS, or the Guarded Multiple Launch Rocket Systems. The US-made weapons can fire a barrage of rockets hundreds of kilometers depending on the ammunition that is used. The weapons package could also include wheeled high-mobility artillery rocket systems. Meanwhile, in a rare show of dissent, a group of Russian lawmakers representing the Communist Party have called on President Vladimir Putin to stop the military operations in Ukraine. The lawmakers have issued a statement saying that the Russian troops are actually suffering significant losses in Ukraine and that there is no way of getting any success by military means. The Communist Party head has also distanced himself from the statements and has said that the tough action against dissenters will now be taken. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.